So RSF three hundred thirty. So it's a row to row. Okay, row to sheet, die free. So this is the name for the RSF. And you know, the, I think as a manufacturers uh, for the machines, the most important things is that you have to understand uh, what you build and how you wanna make a table uh, in fitting in the label segment. So we understand uh, how to make that. So then this is why we try to bring this table. Actually, the table we already uh, making the table for around let's say one year or something. And after we think it's uh, stable, and I think that we, it can meet the client's demands, then we bring it to the uh, face part to show that okay, this is label color, and this is uh, Jinwei's idea to making the label table. And uh, actually, uh, it's. Quite automation. It's like a, you while well, you drink coffee. You, if you want the sugar or milk, he will decide. Okay, you can put all in together or no milk, no sugar. So this is the table. From the specific side, I would say that uh, it's uh, digital, digital uh, label color. So in the market. There are a lot of the traditional rotary die and the stack punch label cutter that will be um, widely used in the labels market. Well, the digital is improving step by step and we try in to uh, also offering the digital label colors. So this is the first condition we build this table because all the colors we manufacture, they are all from the digital side. And second, the customization labels are getting more and more popular. So well, before will be millions meters for same labels. Well, nowadays will maybe probably 100 meter one kind of label. Uh, maybe it's three rows, maybe it's four rows, it's five rows. So the demands becomes more and more customization. So it's actually it's not for the well compared with the traditional ways. It's 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 not like for the mass production, but well, it's come to the Customization that with the table to fit in the client's demands. Thank you. Thank you. Have that.